Hello, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Today we will be doing the field trip part 11. Okay, let's continue. Jenny and Sharon were so eager to get help, they didn't realize they had found the dinosaur room. They looked all around. There were dinosaur skeletons everywhere. And right in the middle of the room, the great T-Rex. Jenny and Sharon ran over to the humongous T-Rex skeleton. They looked way up and saw its huge head and sharp teeth. The T-Rex seemed to be smiling. Jenny and Sharon both wondered what it was like ages ago when T-Rexes walked the earth. They both wondered what T-Rexes would sound like when they roared. They both wondered what T-Rexes looked like when they were alive. Again, Jenny and Sharon were so eager to get help they didn't realize they had found the dinosaur room. They looked all around. There were dinosaur skeletons everywhere. And right in the middle of the room, the great T-Rex. Jenny and Sharon ran over to the humongous T-Rex skeleton. They looked way up and saw its huge head and sharp teeth. The T-Rex seemed to be smiling. Jenny and Sharon both wondered what it was like ages ago when T-Rexes walked the earth. They both wondered what T-Rexes would sound like when they roared. They both wondered what T-Rexes would look like, what T-Rexes looked like when they were alive. Okay, so we have um, ages ago, ages ago, sounds like and alive okay so those are the words that we will be learning today uh, but there are other words that we need to learn so let's begin let's explain what we have just read jenny and sharon were so eager to get help what does it mean to be so eager to get help that means you so really wanted to get help. So if you are eager to do something, then you really want to do something. Okay? So Jenny and Sharon were so eager to get help. Jenny and Sharon were uh, so really wanted to get help. Okay? So all they thought about was, I want to get help, I want to get help, I want to get help. So they didn't know. Oh, dinosaur room, okay. So they were so eager to get help. They so really wanted to get help. They didn't realize. They didn't know. Realize means know. 
they didn't realize, they didn't know they had found the dinosaur room. They looked around. There were dinosaur skeletons. Look, dinosaur skeleton, dinosaur skeleton. Okay, so and then other skeletons, right? Yes, we have a skeleton too, right? But because they were in the dinosaur room, they saw dinosaur skeletons, right? So there were dinosaur skeletons everywhere. And right in the middle of the room, okay? Not the corner of the room, in the middle of the room, okay? The great T Rex. Oh, here's the great T Rex. Dun, 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 the great T Rex. But only the skeleton, not, not the, not like this, but the skeleton, okay? All right. Jenny and Sharon ran over to the humongous T Rex skeleton. So that's Jenny, right? Jenny is the, the, uh, the person here, and then she looks up at this humongous T Rex skeleton, right? Okay. They looked way up and saw its huge head and sharp teeth. So they looked up and they saw the T Rex's huge head. And look, the sharp teeth. Right? Look at all the sharp teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to count them. There's just so too many of them, right? The huge, humongous, huge head and sharp teeth. The T Rex seemed to be smiling, right? You see the T Rex? It's like he's like smiling, right? It's like he's smiling at you. Okay, so the T Rex seemed to be smiling. Jenny and Sharon both wondered. They both thought, hmm, I wonder, I wonder, hmm, I wonder, I think, I wonder. So they wondered, they thought. So Jenny and Sharon both wondered what it was like ages ago. What is ages ago? Ages ago means long ago. Ages ago, long ago, when T Rexes walked the earth. So they wondered uh, what it was like ages ago, long ago, when T Rexes walked the earth. Okay? So ages ago means long ago. They both wondered what T Rexes would sound like when they roared okay so they wonder uh, what t-rexes would sound like like you know would it make like a sound like a cow moo or would it make a sound like a like a bird like you know ju -ju -ju. I don't, who knows right so they wondered what t-rexes would sound like in other words what t-rexes would be like to hear them okay what it would be like to hear them okay to hear the sound of t-rexes what they would sound like okay so uh they both wondered what t-rexes would sound like when they roared they both wondered what t-rexes looked like when they were alive what is alive? Alive just means not dead, right? They wondered what T Rexes looked like when they were not dead, when they were alive, okay? Not dead, not extinct, okay? Very good. Okay, so let's look at some of these vocabulary words and then we will make sentences right now. Ages, ages ago means ages ago means long ago. Okay, so 
whatever I can say long ago to I can say ages ago. Okay, so I no one knew. I want to say long ago, so I have to use past tense. I knew. I knew how to ride a bike long ago. Okay, but then I know that long ago means ages ago, so I can say I knew how to ride a bike ages ago. Ages ago, which means long ago. So now you know how to say long ago and ages ago. Very good. Continue. Number two. Um, sound like. Okay. So, for example, um, uh, uh, cats. Okay. Well, no. Let's um, let me see. Like, uh, for example, like. Um, Birds sound like mice. What do I mean by that? Well, birds go ju 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 ju, and mouse a mouse a mouse goes ju 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 ju. So they sound the same. Okay. So birds sound like mice. Okay. I don't know if that's true, but maybe you can say something like this. For example. Uh, Let's say um, uh, Zoe and Jasmine, they are sisters, okay? And Zoe's sound and Jasmine's sound are the same. Imagine, I'm not saying they are, okay? So I can say, oh, Zoe sounds like Jasmine, okay? Or, you know, um, uh, Jessica sounds like, you know, um, Chris, right? Yes. So Jessica sounds like Chris. What does that mean? That means when Jessica speaks, I was like, uh, who is that? I don't know. Is that Jessica or Chris? And I look. Oh, oh, it says Jessica, right? Yes. So birds sound like mice. Zoe sounds like Jasmine. Jessica sounds like Chris. So on and so forth. Okay. All right. Especially on the phone. You know, on the telephone, like when I call my house and then either Francis or Sylvia picks up the phone, I don't know who's who, right? I, uh, are you Francis or Sylvia? I'm not sure, right? Okay. Because Francis sounds like Sylvia. Sylvia sounds like Francis. Okay. Sound like. Okay. Good. Alive not dead okay right so you know um let's say you see uh let's say you have a flower and the flower is drooping it's hanging is it dead no maybe not maybe you give it some water put it in the sun it will be alive again it will live again so alive means not dead okay right all right so the I want to say, don't throw the flower away. Don't throw away the flower. Why? It is not dead. Okay. It is not dead. How do you say not dead? It is oh alive alive it is not dead it is alive okay so not dead means alive okay all right very good that's underlined okay good all right so we are going to uh answer these questions um uh, probably not in this class but in the next class okay all right, I'm going to, for example, why didn't Jenny and Sharon realize they found the dinosaur? Why, not why did they realize, why didn't Jenny and Sharon realize? They didn't realize, okay? Now, why, you know what to say, right? 
you know there is gonna be big elephants can always understand small elephants because right because what why didn't Jenny and Sharon realize they found the dinosaur room well Jenny and Sharon were so eager to get help they didn't realize they had found the dinosaur room hmm so why didn't they realize they found the dinosaur room? Oh, because they were so eager to get help, right? So that's the answer. I will ask you this when I see you, okay? Let me put a hat here, it's better, okay? All right, continue. What did Jenny and Sharon see when they looked all around, okay? When they looked all around, what did they see? Let me see. Oh, they looked around. There were dinosaur skeletons everywhere. Hmm. So what did they see? Oh, what did they see? I'll ask you. What was in the middle of the room? Ah, in the middle of the room. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Okay, they looked around. There were dinosaur skeletons everywhere. And right in the middle of the room, the great T-Rex. Okay, so what was in the middle of the room? Okay, good. What did the T-Rex have? What did it have? Did it have books? Did it have a smartphone? Did it have hair? No. What did the T-Rex have? Let's see. Oh, Jenny and Sharon ran over to the humongous T-Rex skeleton. They looked way up and saw its huge head and sharp teeth. So what did the T-Rex have? a uh, huge head and sharp teeth very good remember what did it have a huge head and a sharp teeth i think i have a where's my sharp dinosaur tooth i'd like to show it to everybody but i always can't find it where's my sharp uh oh i lost my sharp dinosaur tooth okay maybe it's here i don't know okay good I'll show it to you in class. And number five, why did Jenny and Sharon wonder what the T-Rex was like? Or I should say, why did Jenny and Sharon wonder what T-Rexes were like? Why did they say, oh, let's see. They both wonder what T-Rexes looked like when they were alive. They both wonder what T-Rexes would sound like when they roared. Okay, right? All right, so why did they do that? You have to come up with your own answer. Okay? Because why? Why did they do that? Because they didn't like T-Rexes? Because they thought T-Rexes were boring? Why? Why did they... Hmm, I wonder what T-Rexes looks like. I wonder what they would sound like. Why did they wonder? Okay? All right. Very good. So, this is our new story for this week. The Field Trip Part 11. Okay? And uh, please listen and repeat and learn how to read. And I will explain all these things to you in class again. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you very soon.